What if you wanted to build a simple language learning tool that was also a fun interactive toy? Well, today we're going to build just that. We call it the Babelfish, and it uses Adafruit's Wave and NFC shields for Arduino to play back sounds associated with words and phrases on these RFID flashcards. Let's get started. For this project, we'll be using the Adafruit Music and Sound Pack, which is an add-on for the Wave Shield kit that provides a speaker and SD card. We'll also be using the NFC and RFID shield, and you can learn about that in our video right here. All of these stack on top of an Arduino Uno to drive the code. To make the two shields work together, you need to cut the trace between the IRQ pin and its header that connects to both the Arduino and the Wave Shield. Verify with your multimeter that the trace has been cut, and then solder a wire from the IRQ pin to digital pin 6. Confirm continuity with your multimeter. Next, it's time to build the Wave Shield. Start with a clean desk so you don't lose any components, and I like to load up the tutorial on my iPad. A pan of ice can be really handy for putting together kits with PCBs because it holds it sturdy while you populate the board with components. The Wave Shield starts out by adding the SD card holder. Then it's time to put in a bunch of smaller components, resistors and capacitors, and you can hold them in place by bending the leads on the back of the board. Then, when you flip the circuit board over to solder it, they don't fall out. Clip your leads after soldering. And find the chip marked with an MCP and solder it in place as shown. Follow the instructions on the Wave Shield tutorial for the placement of the rest of the parts, and then get ready to solder your header pins. Cut them to size and then place them directly on the Arduino along with the Wave Shield PCB and solder them in place like that. Attach the thumb wheel with a small screwdriver and make these five wire connections. They're the same as the ones in the Wave Shield tutorial. Be sure to test each shield independently before attempting to combine them. And for this project, it doesn't matter which shield has stacking headers, but if you were making, say, an RFID door lock, you might want to put stacking headers on your Wave Shield so that the RFID reader would be as close to the surface of the door as possible. Next, wire up your speaker and solder it to the pins right next to the headphone jack on the Wave Shield. It's easy to make flashcards by simply printing out the words you want to learn and taping them to the RFID cards. You can also write on them with dry erase markers if you want to make them super reusable. Load up the sample code from the tutorial page for this project and open the serial monitor. Then put one of your flashcards near the reader and copy the number that appears on screen. It goes inside this for loop along with the file name for the sound sample that goes along with that word or phrase. That goes in this part of the for loop. You can repeat the for loop for as many cards as you have. Now on to build the enclosure. Use whatever craft supplies you have laying around, and then I couldn't figure out what the fish eyes were supposed to look like, so I looked up a fish on the internet, and I uh, copied his eyeball and reflected it in Photoshop, and then printed them out on a piece of paper, and I'm gonna glue those on. I'm using just this basic cardboard box as the body, and I wanna cut a hole to make the RFID antenna into a tongue. So mark it with a pencil and then carefully cut a slit through all of the layers of cardboard with a utility knife. Next, mark where the speaker will go with pencil and then poke small holes in the pattern of your choice with an awl. I started this process on the inside of the box where no one could see and then finished from the outside to give the holes a finished look. To make fish fins, cut some freeform shapes from a yellow file folder and fold up tabs that can be then glued onto the body of the box. Disassemble the box and lay it flat on the table so it can get a nice even coat of glitter paint. This is actually Glitter Mod Podge, which is also an adhesive, which is really useful when it comes time to glue on things like the eyes and fins. When it's completely dry, assemble the box and install the electronics. 
To secure the speaker to the box lid, I'm going to use a small piece of stretchy fabric and some yarn and a yarn needle. I'm simply going to make little bow ties that go through the fabric, through the box, and then back up through the fabric and box again, in four places around the speaker. Trim off the extra fabric and you've got yourself a speaker mount. It's even removable for later if you want to build a different project. Plug in the power cord through another hole you've cut in the back of the box and make sure the volume is set all the way up. If you find it's not as loud as you want, you may need to amplify the waveforms of your sounds inside an audio editing program and load them back on the SD card. Here's Tom to test it out. Oh boy. Chuan. 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 You can easily use a small number of cards and reprogram it before each session. Well, I hope I've inspired you to go out and make a project of your own. And I can't wait to see it in Adafruit's weekly show and tell on Google+. That's it for this time. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.